डॉक्टर साधना सिंह एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर केमिस्ट्री दिस इज माय फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन पोली पॉली न्यूक्लियर हाइड्रोकार्बन लास्ट टाइम वी स्टडीड स्ट्रक्चर सिंथेसिस एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नेपथलीन नाउ वी विल स्टडी हियर द डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ नेपथलीन नेपथलीन कॉमनली हैव थ्री डेरिवेटिव्स नेपथॉल नेपथलामीन एंड नेपथाक्यूनोन द नेपथॉल is the compound in which oh group is attached on a naphthalene ring the naphthol is of two types alpha naphthol and beta naphthol in alpha naphthol the oh group attached at one carbon atom and in beta naphthol the oh group attached at two carbon atom the synthesis of alpha and beta naphthol are first it can synthesize from naphthalene sulfonylic acid if we take alpha naphthalene sulfonylic acid which we study that it can form from the sulfonation of naphthalene by the reaction of naphthalene with sulfuric acid at 40 degree centigrade we get the alpha naphthalene sulfonylic acid this react with nuh eliminate the water molecule give the sodium salt of sulfonylic acid this react again with the two molecules of nuh eliminate sodium bisulfite and get get the naphthoxide sodium ion this react with hcl eliminate nacl and gives alpha naphthol similarly if we take beta naphthalene sulfonylic acid which can obtained by heating naphthalene by reacting naphthalene with sulfuric acid at 150 degree centigrade then we get the beta naphthalene sulfonylic acid this react with nuh molecules give the sodium salt of naphthoxide ion naphthoxide and eliminate and it react with hcl eliminate nacl and give the beta naphthol the another synthesis of naphthalene is with alpha naphthalamine if we take alpha naphthalamine then we get the alpha naphthol this alpha naphthalamine can obtain by the reduction of nitronephthalene we know that naphthalene react with nitric acid and give the nitronephthalene the nitronephthalene on reduction give the alpha naphthalamine this alpha naphthalamine on hydrolysis in the presence of acid gives alpha naphthol and ammonia is evolved the another synthesis is the reaction of ortho bromo fluoride with lithium amalgam eliminate bromide and fluoride ion and gives an very reactive intermediate that is benzene intermediate this react immediately with the furane to give a additional compound this react with hcl the bond broken from here and we get the alpha naphthol so these are the synthesis of alpha or beta naphthol as for physical properties they both are crystalline solid they have different melting point alpha naphthol melt at 94 degree centigrade and beta naphthol at 123 degree 9 degree centigrade both are insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvents like alcohol ether etc their chemical properties are like this they have oh group they have some properties of oh group these are if alpha beta naphthol react with sodium hydroxide they give the sodium salt that is sodium naphthoxide water molecule is eliminated if we take alpha naphthol we get alpha sodium naphthoxide take beta naphthol then we get the beta naphtha sodium oxide if it react with alkyl halide then alkyl halide with alpha or beta naphthol eliminate if there sodium salt then they eliminate nacl and give the ether if alpha naphthol give alpha ether and beta is the beta ether 
here the reaction is it is alpha sodium naphthoxide react with methyl iodide methyl iodide it eliminates nai and give the methyl methyl naphthyl ether if it react with alcohol then again it gives ether alpha or beta naphthol react with alcohol it eliminate water molecule and we get the ether if alpha naphthol react with ethyl alcohol then in the presence of acid if we heat it the h2 molecule h2 is removed and we get the ethyl naphthyl ether so with alkyl halide or with alcohol we get the compound ether with acetyl chloride we get ester here is alpha naphthol react with acetyl chloride hcl is removed and we get the alpha or beta naphthyl acetate so these are the reaction of oh group in which with alkyl halide or alcohol we get ether and acetyl chloride we get the acetate if the alpha or beta naphthol react with fecl3 then we get the this at product the alpha, alpha naphthol react with fecl3 we get the dimer that is alpha dinaphthol of 44 bis 1 naphthol dimer is formed which is of purple or blue color if we take beta naphthol with fecl3 we get again beta dinaphthol or 11 bis beta naphthol it is of green color we know that it is a functional group test for alpha or beta naphthol which confirm the phenolic group in naphthali alpha or beta naphthol the next re reaction of naphthol is reduction of naphthol alpha or beta naphthol react with hydrogen atoms in the presence of sodium and isopropyl alcohol if we take the alpha naphthol then we get we get tetrahydro naphthol and if we take beta naphthol then we get the tetrahydro naphthol of this one in which the oh group is present on alicyclic ring why because beta naphthol is more reactive than the alpha naphthol and if we take the beta naphthol then the ring on which oh group present undergoes reduction because it is a reactive ring and the that ring is saturated and we give the tetrahydro naphthol in which oh group is present on alicyclic ring the oxidation of alpha or beta naphthol in the presence of with kno4 in the presence of base it give the thalanoic acid and if alpha or beta naphthol react with potassium dichromate chromic acid then it gives alpha naphtha qno so these are the oxidation reaction of alpha or beta naphthol then it also undergoes substitution reaction and that is electrophilic substitution reactions the alpha naphthol gives four substituted product and the beta naphthol gives one substituted product because we know that oh group is ortho para directive group the sulfonation of alpha naphthol with sulfuric acid gives one naphthol four sulfonylic acid the so 3h group attached at the fourth position para position and one naphthol two sulfonylic acid in when so 3h group attached at the ortho position this is the minor project and this is the major product we know that it is an electrophilic substitution reaction in which so 3 attack on the aromatic ring and we get the 
substituted compound that is sulfonylic acid is formed. If we take the beta naphthol, then we know that the SO3 that is electrophile attack at the one position that is the ortho position and we get the two naphthol one sulfonylic acid. So for, uh, with alpha naphthol we get the four sulfonylic acid as a major product and with beta naphthol we get one sulfonylic acid as a product. Then nitration. Similar like benzene the alpha naphthol also undergoes nitration reaction with concentrate nitric acid and sulfuric acid at 20 degrees centigrade we get the 2,4-dinitro alpha naphthol because the OH group increases the electron density on the benzene ring as the phenoxide ion present in which the negative charge undergoes resonance and step stabilize the and stabilized by the resonance and the negative charge on the naphthalene ring increases so it undergoes nitration reaction easily and very susceptible to the attack of the nitrophile that is nitronium ion on the ring and we get the 2,4-dinitro alpha naphthol. Then the next reaction is the coupling reaction. In coupling reaction alpha naphthol react with benzene diazonium chloride in the presence of NOH at low temperature that is 0 to 10 degree centigrade the HCl is removed and we get the compound that is dye that is 4 phenyl azo 2 naphthol dye is formed. If we take the beta naphthol then with benzene diazonium chloride in the presence of NOH in 0 to minus 50 degree centigrade it gives the 1 phenyl azo beta naphthol. So, with diazonium chloride, it gives the cup undergoes coupling reaction and gives the dyes. The next reaction is the reaction of alpha or beta naphthol with nitrous acid. With nitrous acid, they give the oxime. The alpha naphthol undergoes isomerization, and these are the isomer of alpha naphthol. They react with nitrous acid, eliminate water molecule, and give this oxime alpha naphthalquinone 2 oxime. Or if it reacts with nitric acid, eliminate water molecule, and this gives the alpha naphthalquinone 4 oxime is obtained and with beta naphthol bad beta naphthol it isomer react with nitrous acid eliminate a water molecule and give the beta naphthalquinone one oxime is formed so with nitrous acid alpha or beta naphthol give the oxime with ammonia the alpha naphthol react with ammonia in the presence of ammonium sulfate it gives beta naphthyl amine and this reaction is known as Bucherer reaction. So this reaction is the synthesis of alpha of beta naphthyl, uh, alpha naphthyl amine or beta naphthyl amine. If alpha naphthol then we get the alpha naphthyl amine. The uses of alpha or beta naphthol we know it. It used as insecticide in agriculture. It also uses for the synthesis of dyes and the ethers of alpha or beta naphthol are used as essence. So these are the this is all about the alpha and beta naphthol. Next we study the alpha naphthyl or beta naphthyl amine. Thank you.